my dear brothers and sisters in Christ, God is good, and all the time. You would realize that our reading has moved from chapter 17 of St. John's Gospel to now chapter 21, which is the last chapter of John's Gospel. And uh, the Word of God uh, today uh, reminds us that our God is a God of opportunity, is a God that continues to give us opportunities, is a God that continues to give us a first chance, second chance, and even third chance, and even more uh, for coming back to him, for rehabilitation, for forgiveness, and all that. So he's a God who does not want each one of us to, got lo to get lost, but wants us all to come back to him. Remember the story of Judas and uh, Peter? Judas um, betrayed Jesus. Peter denied him. More or less the same kind of uh, actions that were performed. But uh, Peter felt ashamed and came back to the Lord and asked for forgiveness and he came back to the fold. While uh, Judas felt guilty and uh, decided to run away. So this is what we see even today Jesus trying to put the question of betrayal to Jesus in a different way. Uh, as he tells, uh, Jesus puts this question of uh, denial to Simon Peter in a different way as he says, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than this? Do you love me? Do you truly love me with the true love more than this? More than this fish? More than all that you have? More than the cash you have? More than the power you have? More than the influence you have? Do you love me more than this? And he said, Peter, in reply, yes, you know I love you. Feed my lambs. So the love goes with the ministry of feeding the lamb, goes with the service of the people. Again, the second time and the third time, Peter realizes now that uh, it is connected with that denial. And that is why even Jesus did not call him now Peter, but called him Simon. Simon. Simon, son of John. Simon, do you love me? Taking back to where they began. And in fact, even where this question is being asked is where they began, where he was called, uh, the Sea of Galilee. So it's the same place that now that kind of um, dignity of being the rock is uh, kind of uh, no, not clearly expressed by Jesus, but his initial call is now that is what is really expressed clearly by Jesus, Simon. Uh, and then, of course, afterwards, he accepts this love, and Christ calls him to uh, feed his lambs. And uh, this is. Uh, what the Lord also reminds us of, that um, we, as his followers, we are invited to be people of true love as we uh, feed the sheep, feed the lambs that God has given us, not out of the motive of what, well, out of selfish motive, of what we have to get from all this, but out of um, true love, true love, out of the love of agape. And it's this love that we have also to love God. What motivates us to pray? What motivates us 
to come to God? What motiva motivates us to do um, our services or to do our you know, act charitable actions, whatever we do for others, what is our real motivation? Is it true love or is it just for our own selfish ends? So this is what Christ is putting uh, very clear to us that as his followers we must also love him in the true love as we offer true services to others. And not only that, he is also reminding us of the fact that we must trust in him. Trust in him and uh, as we trust him, as we uh, move towards him, as we you know, uh, love him, we have to trust, have a great trust in him. Sometimes we trust on what we have, we trust on our powers, we trust that it is us who can always do this and that, and we forget about the Lord. And this is what he's reminding us. He's reminding Peter, Peter, you are able to do all these things, but time will come that this will have to be done to you. Time will come that eventually you will have to trust completely in the Lord. And that is what happens sometimes in our lives. Sometimes we feel that we are able, we want to do everything, and we can do everything, then when age catch up with us, we realize that it's not now impossible, we cannot do everything, uh, everything that also belongs to us, and all that. So we see a need of now trusting in some power, trusting in God, trusting in others, and all that. So the Lord calls us to that from the word go, let us always realize that uh, we need to completely trust in God by loving him and also by doing his will as he calls us to do the same.